Welcome to Lesson 3, Part 2. In this lesson, you will learn to use synthetic division to find the factors of a polynomial and to find a polynomial based on the graph. Okay, just to review a little bit of what you've already learned about synthetic division and substitution. Um, remember that you can evaluate a polynomial using synthetic substitution. So here uh, we're, so we're looking for where x is 3, so we use 3 here and we get these numbers from the coefficients. The, the x to the third is missing, so that's where the zero place comes from. The negative 8, the 5, and the negative 7. Okay, you can also use synthetic division and synthetic division. Here uh, we're dividing this polynomial, this cubic degree uh, polynomial by x plus 1 and to do that we use the root where x we're looking at where x is negative 1 and so that's why there's a negative 1 here instead of the positive 1. Remember also that when you have a remainder you write it over whatever it was you were dividing by in this case it was x plus 1. Think back to when you were first learning about factors. How did you know that 12 is a factor of 36? Your fourth grade, third grade teacher, whoever taught you multiplication and division, taught you that 12 will divide into 36 three times, and when you do that division, you have zero left over. So we know that 3 is a factor of um, 3 and 12 are both factors of 36 because they multiply to give you that. But why is it 14 a factor of 36? If we divide 14 into 36, it'll go twice. And then when we subtract, we have a remainder of 8. So we know that 14 is not a factor of 36 because no other whole number times 14 will give me 36. To be a factor, it must be a whole number that fits there, and there is not one. Okay, so we're going to use synthetic division to find out if a binomial is a factor of a polynomial. So we want to find out in this problem, is x minus 10 a factor of this polynomial? If it is, we should be able to divide it and have no remainder. We're going to use synthetic division to do this. To start, I bring down my 2 multiply, 10 times 2 is 20, add, I get 6, add, I get 4, multiply, 40, remainder 0. Yay! It is a factor. This tells me that x minus 10 is a factor and it, because there's 0 remainder. And it also tells me that if I multiply 2x squared plus 6x plus 4 by x plus 10, I will get that polynomial. Okay, the factor theorem tells us that a polynomial f of x has a factor of x minus k if and only if f of k equals 0. So um, here's what this tells us in English. If you divide the polynomial by that binomial, whatever it is, and you get 0 as a remainder, you know that x minus k is a factor of the function. So try this one. Find out if x plus 2 is a factor of this polynomial. So you try it on your paper. Pause the video and try it, and I'm going to work it on the screen. I found out that this is not a factor. And the reason that I know that x plus 2 is not a factor is that I do not have 0 as a remainder. Two more big theorems to know. The complex conjugate theorem 
if a plus bi, and this being an imaginary number, is a root of the polynomial, then a minus bi, its conjugate, is also a root. So that tells you if you have an imaginary root, if you have, you can't just have one imaginary root. They come in pairs because you've got the a plus bi version and its conjugate a minus bi. The fundamental theorem of algebra states that if the degree of a polynomial is greater than zero, okay, so I'm going to say n is greater than zero, then it must have at least one root. And we're, you'll see how we're going to use this later. Given one root, you can find the others. Six is a root of this polynomial. So we can find the other roots. I'm going to use synthetic division. Across the top, I'll write my coefficients. Notice there are none missing, so I don't have to fill in with any zeros. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Add, I get negative 4. Negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24. Add, I get 4. Negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. Add, and I get 0. So now I'm going to use these answers as the coefficient of my second factor. So my second factor will be x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now I already know my other factor comes from this negative 6 and it is x plus 6. Remember this is a root not the factor so that's why it's a plus here. Now I have to look at these and say can I factor them further? And in fact, I can factor this new factor again. I can factor it as x minus 2 times x minus 2. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. And then this inner multiplication, another negative 2x, gives me my negative 4x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So the factorization of my polynomial is x plus 6 and x minus 2 squared. So my roots are negative 6 and 2.